Now, we're going to warm up with some wonderful wines from Wine Premier. They've got two locations, one in Howard and, and one in Bellevue. And Therese is going to show us some great winter wines. Hi, Amy. This morning we're talking about keeping warm in this ice-cold weather. What are you going to do to keep yourself warm inside and out? Well, we're going to take care of the inside. We have some wines here that you can actually warm up and make a nice, warm drink in your coffee mug. This is a Hungarian red wine that has a, a real slight sweetness to it that you could add cranberry juice or apple juice and maybe a few um, mulling spices or a cinnamon stick, warm it up in your coffee mug, and it's just a really nice, soothing drink. I also have a mead. This wine is actually made out of honey, and it comes with this little packet on the top that you actually take off and you put right in your coffee mug after you warm up the mead wine, and it's a mulling spice that adds kind of a cinnamon and maybe a baking spice flavor to your wine. Really nice and warm in this chilly weather. You also can drink some ports that are a little bit higher in alcohol and just naturally tend to keep you warmer. We have a ruby port, which is a nice port if you're not a big port wine drinker but you want to try it. A ruby port has never been put in an oak barrel, so it's really smooth, kind of fruity and jammy type flavors. Then we have, a, this is actually a tawny port that's from Portugal. That's where ports are originally from. And this also is, um, is aged in an oak barrel, so it gives a kind of a nutty cashew type flavor that also would be really nice and really warm and soothing. I have two ports here, an 8-year port and a 21-year port. And what that tells you is how long it's been aged in an oak barrel. The longer it's been aged, the lighter it is, more like a Grand Marnier type consistency. And again, kind of that cashew, nutty, caramely type flavor, really nice way to warm up. And you can always put your port wine in a chocolate cup. When you do that, you pour it right in the cup and then you just drink it right out of the cup, like this, take a little sip. Oh, that's good. And then when you're done, you can eat the chocolate cup. What's better than that?